here we have 42 inch Sony TV on the floor here three different tablets we're an HDMI 2 mode on the TV so let's just switch some of these tablets on so here's a here's a low cost tablet with 3G everything this is the $102 tablet All right. standard HDMI lead the very same ones I bought from you which I've sold plenty of and everybody who's bought them is happy I'm going to check where this has got to plug in it's around the side so I'm just going to plug this into this device here now difficult to hold the camera uh, at the same time but I'll do my best right I'll plug that in and there you can see on the television screen is exactly the same as that pick the tablet up there we go right no adjustments no nothing just straight plug it in all right I'm going to unplug it now I'm going to switch this one on this is the 9.7 inch this is the one you sold me I'll just wait for it to start up the HDMI, HDMI sockets on the side there right so there we go I'll push it up against the wall again so I can easily plug in the socket plug in the lead which I'm doing now and go back to the TV <clears throat> and there we go all right no problem whatsoever no messing no buttons to press just literally plug it in now we go to the one we're having loads of problems with and we'll start this up I'll just give it a moment or two this is different just checking where the HDMI socket is so let's switch it on so there we are right so we've got a menu on there now so if I just plug the HDMI lead in all right TV screen nothing changes nothing happening so as per your instructions you said plug the lead in plug it into the TV right so let's look at the settings all right we'll go to display and here's HDMI settings all right now I'll try not to get a reflection if possible but you can see the video resolution is not lit HDMI is so what I'll do is I'll just click that HDMI is now click but you still can't do anything with the resolution now the screen has gone blank and on the TV in a second or two we'll leave it like you say that should come on it's not and now it's saying unsupported signal check your device output 
So there we go. Unplug this again and the tablet will come back to life. Ah. Change the bit. So I'll change it to 720p now. Alright, so I'll plug this in. And we'll see what happens. Still unsupported. And I turned it to 720p, so let's unplug it again. I can't get this menu up. This is uh, it's quite crazy. This just isn't right. Right, so we'll plug this in again. Go to settings. Auto display. HDMI settings. I'll keep my finger on it. Click that. Now it won't even select it. Now it won't even select. It won't even select HDMI now. Oh, it has. It's just doing things as it feels like doing them. Unsupported signal. Check your device output. So I'm selecting 420p now. So I've selected 420p. It's still coming up that. Select auto. I'll try doing different things. I'll try. As you can see this is quite ludicrous there's no way that I could sell this to a customer and a customer get this to work they're getting the same problems I'm getting it's, it's totally and utterly not not it's just not good enough